Hey guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and in this one we are getting it all in Hard Cube. A great fun puzzle game developed and published by Big Way Games, and is available to you for just £5.79. Uh, by the way, big thanks to Big Way Games for providing me the code to bring you this guide, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more 100% achievement trophy guides. So the aim of the game is to get a tennis ball, not a hard cube, uh, from the start to the finish, dodging obstacles and platforming, etc, etc. Now it may possibly sound quite generic, but it is actually quite a lot of fun. But as for the achievements, most are story related, but I'm sure you could get even the small potentially missable ones without even trying, but of course I'll be speaking up when we get to them. Either way, you are looking at around 30 minutes to an hour to complete. So with that being said then, let us begin. Now you can have a look at the sort of settings, there's nothing that really is going to help too much or too bad or anything like that, you just, I just leave it at sort of average and low, it literally doesn't make too much of a difference. But then we can begin, so with the D-pad, um, move it to the very first level, obviously on the left, because that's where the first normally is and then press A to start the tutorial. Now obviously it'll tell you um, how to move, how to jump, etc, but it is very easy. You just move with the left stick and press A to jump. There are collectibles like this in every level, but they are not needed to get any achievements or anything, so you can literally just skip them and just get, get to the end. So here we go then. We are, like I said, on the tutorial, so press A to jump here. Now with the jumping, it's much better if you have a little bit of momentum. So if you're rolling forward and then jump, it's a lot easier than doing a sort of standing, uh, sort of standing still jump, if you get what I mean. You get more bounce. And then you press left and the uh, right bump, uh, right trigger, sorry. <laughs> right trigger and left trigger, that will actually move the camera. Again, that could potentially get a little um, confusing at first, but it's something you just easily get used to, very easily get used to. So as you've seen there then, every time you want to jump across a gap or anything like that, just literally just make sure you've got a bit, a little bit of a roll going on. So we haven't completed the tutorial, but we do get the achievement for completing the tutorial here. And this is the sort of first, you know, level where it kind of incorporates a bit of everything. So you've got to be sort of careful not to uh, fall down the gap. This is the only bit of timed sort of level on it. It literally doesn't matter after this. this is the only time this is the only only level that you do get timed. It's just for extra score again, which, like I said, we are not going to be needing. So now then, level one out of one. Again, there is an achievement for collecting all the umbrellas in the level. We'll come to that a little bit later on. But what we're going to be doing first, just to get it out of the way, we're going to be falling down off a level 10 and 15 times. That'll get us two achievements. Uh, in no time at all. So obviously I've just edited it a little bit there. So what you can do is just keep jumping off the edge 15 times until you get both of the achievements. Again, there may be levels where you get it naturally, but hey, it's always nice to just get it out the way and smash them out, eh? So, like I said, there are four levels, and in each level there are eight sub-levels. So, what's that? 8, 16, 32... Uh, 40, so we're going for 40 levels basically overall, and there's not that there's not that much in difference in terms of the obstacles and enemies and things that you've got to face. These things that'll try and push you off are absolutely constant, but they are absolutely easy to just get through. So don't you worry about that. But of course, like I said, it's obviously because it's one of those games. Just just take your time. There's literally no need to rush. Nobody's judging you. Obviously, there are levels like this where it can get a little bit dark and a little bit, you know, a little bit foggy, etc. These little red dots on the ground there are mines, so be very, very careful of them not to um, fall on the mines. Give yourself a little helping hand there, and you can go. Again, if you want to go around and collect all the collectibles for a high score, you are more than welcome to do that. But with me, I'm just getting us straight to, to the end. So just again, be very careful, be very wary. If you if you feel your hands sort of start shaking and going a bit mad, take a break for five minutes and come back when you're all cooled down. So yeah, those mines, we will be getting an achievement for blowing up a mine, not falling off the map a little bit later on. Again, I'll show you 
uh, way when we get to it. And this is the level then that we collect all the umbrellas in one level because basically there's nowhere else to go. So roll with the platform because the platform goes quicker than you. So if you just stay still, you'll actually fall off. So when you get onto the platform here, make sure to just keep rolling a little bit. And there we go then. So this is where we unlock the next achievement for uh, grabbing all the umbrellas in one level. That's why I hadn't been touching the umbrellas in previous levels. See, there's method in my madness. And there's madness in my methods. <laughs> so anyway, we're, we're already flying through them. We've only got three more sub-levels left to do before we go into the next one. Um, sometimes, like I said, in levels like this, there are two ways you can get there. But we'll always try and go for the shortest route. And this one is easy. As soon as you get to this final platform here, just drop down. Give it a little jump as well. And then jobs a good un. So for level 1-6, one, one again, this is where we get the mine achievement, by the way. So you can literally jump into it. As long as you don't fall off the map, you will unlock the achievement. Again, it's very easy. There are loads of mines, again, throughout the entire game. And in any case, you might actually end up accidentally doing it. And it, So like I said, it is one of them that you may even just get without even realizing and without even knowing. So I'm pretty sure at the minute then that that is it. So like I said, with these type, with this type of game, just be very, very careful. Don't rush. Literally, absolutely take your time. And happy days. So then that is us done with level 1, now we're on to level 2, um, I tried to go this way first, um, I ended up actually dying here somehow, don't know how the hell I managed that one, but it is easier if we just go to the right and nip off by it, unless of course you want to grab all the collectibles, which again, in my case, go for it, jump on these here, otherwise they, uh, that's just an easy way, otherwise you'll be straight off. Nothing too much, there's those uh, crumbly little rocks there, which basically if you stay on them for too long, they will just disintegrate and you will fall to your death. Otherwise, there's nothing that's too new um, in these levels. So, you know, as I said, obviously you're looking at it now, it's very dark, so there'll be, there will be levels like this. But again, all you've got to do is just take your time, there's no need to rush, you'll still be getting this game done in very quick time. So, just enjoy it for what it is, rather than smashing through and getting pissed off if you keep dying.
So then, I hope you've been enjoying a guide without my voice for once. Um, to be honest, there's not really much point in uh, commentating as all you're doing is following the videos. But now we're on to level 3. These are the winter levels. And we're getting another achievement basically straight away. These ice cubes here are obviously very slippy. So you'll have to stop. You'll put, have to put the brakes on quite a bit early to be able to stop in time. And you see these little white clouds here? They're basically designed to sort of push you off the edge. All you got to do when you see one, roll into it and that will get you another achievement. Again, it is one of those that will probably come naturally as there are plenty to do. Um, there are plenty in the game, sorry. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. That was a pain in the ass just there. I ended up dying. But again, this is another one that you know for the majority it is just take your time and literally there's just no need to rush but yeah as i said you can tell the sort of ice cubes obviously you, you know what an ice cube is if not then where the hell have you been <laughs> um but yeah as soon as you go onto the ice cubes obviously just make sure to take literally take your time go very very slowly because you will literally just roll off Sometimes it can be a little bit tricky and a little bit awkward, but again, it's, it's something that you will get used to very quickly. And always remember to keep looking out for those white clouds, um, especially in levels like this where it gets extremely, extremely dark. But this is one where you literally, again, there's just no need to rush. How many times have I got to say that? <laughs> So now that we're going to finish this one, we'll be getting, in the next level, we'll be getting the achievement for finishing a level in 10 seconds. And all you got to do is just jump off the left edge and that's it. Make sure to obviously land uh, as close as you can to the uh, flag. But that's it. And that was it for level 3 out of 4. So just jump to the left. Jobs are good. And so that was basically the hardest achievement in the game, if you want to be calling it that. So literally all it is now is we just get blown up by a laser, which we get in the next set of levels, and just completing the rest of the game. So I hope you're enjoying the game so far, and I hope you continue to enjoy the guide. So here we go then, we've only got one set of levels left now, and to be honest, for me, it was the slightly biggest pain in the ass. Now, when I've said, you know, try and be careful and everything, this this one is just absolutely true. Already, you could, be, could potentially be a little, 
you know, a bit nervous and a bit put off by the dizzying heights. But we are getting another achievement here before we move on. So you can nip over that if you're not after the diamond. And simply just get blown up by the laser here. It's literally one second. <clears throat> Again, it's one of those that you might even get just casually and on its way anyway. But, you know, get it out of the way and it's job done then, isn't it? You don't have to worry. Because there's only two achievements left now. And that's for completing this set of levels and then completing the game. So, all you got to do, you see the red... Obviously, you see the red tracker right there. Just wait until it obviously goes to the right or to the left. And as soon as it does, again, don't get nervous. Don't take your time. You get, like, sort of half a second to sort of back out if you do get caught. There we go. Just give it... Give it everything. And, like I said, you know, just don't rush with it. And don't get nervous with the control. That I was doing that quite a lot. And that's why I kept falling off the bloody edges right here. You know, otherwise, avoid the mines, do what you've been doing throughout the entirety of the game. So then, just for this next bit, this can potentially be a little bit tricky, but you can avoid sort of tiny sex, but you've got to go from right to left, avoiding the laser, do it as quick as you can. There you go, so right to left, and then for this bit, you've literally just got to be as quick as you can, go to the left. Just, just sweep it to the left, you sort of get <laughs> maybe half a second where the laser doesn't point it at you, and then it gives you a little bit more time, but again, you might just die a few points there, otherwise... Not so bad. Thank you. 
So now we're on the home stretch. As soon as you get done, jump out of the way of the laser. As soon as we're done, you will get all of the achievements in this brilliant game. I hope you didn't mind the uh, guide without the commentary this time. I just thought, like I said, the levels were easy enough to sort of follow, just follow along with without me having to yap over them. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. If this did help, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, check me out on all my social medias. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Patreon, with all links in the description below if you do want to check me out. And again, hopefully this guide and this game was very enjoyable for you and that it did help you out. Also, I just want to say a big, massive uh, shout out and thank you to TimG84 for continuing to support the channel on Patreon. So thank you very much for that. And I shall see you guys and gals, though, in the next one. Big love.